Hey, this is a two-year-old walking horse filly that came in that got turned down by the government at, a, at this filly's first show. And uh, we're going to take a look and see what we come up with. We just, just unload her off the trailer. Drew's walking her for me. We're just looking for any sign of any subtle lameness, any unbalanced movement. As you can see, she's very bright and alert, moving, striding, walking very good. Okay, Mr. Drew, if you'll bring her over to me. Very nice looking filly, good body condition. Hey, hon. It's all new to you, isn't it? So, yep, so she's a two-year-old. Teeth are good, everything looks good there. So we're kind of looking at her like the government inspection and the DQP program should go. So we start with the front foot, pick it up bring it around where we can look at it and you can see man this filly has got all the hair you'd want to see no scars no blemishes got good heel support shoeing looks really good but if you'll hone in there see that's very smooth nice pliable skin tendon sheaths feel good don't elicit any pain no swelling anywhere that all feels good come on down that all palpates good and we just go to the right front leg. Easy girl. And we pick it up and do the same thing. There again, we're just looking for any scars or any blemishes. Not even any hair loss here. See, good thick hair, got good heel support, palpates good, no swelling around the coronary band. The way I understand what's happened, they actually turned her down because of this blemish here on the cannon bone on the inside there. And you can see I'm squeezing, you can see my thumbnail there, I'm squeezing pretty good on that. And there's a splint bone that runs right down through there. We're going to x-ray this filly and see what we got, but see, she's not moving at all. See, I'm palpating, squeezing. <coughs> she's a lot like a lot of us, got a little blemishes or a mold or unsightly scar that we don't like anybody to see, but not enough that I know of anything written in the Horse Protection Act that we've had any training with that should be turned down and not allowed to show. But let's bring her over to the x-ray and we'll pop a x-ray here. <clears throat> Get gowned up there for me. All right, if you'll hold the plate. All right, we're going to shoot this blemish here and see kind of what it looks like. There again, it's not painful or anything, it's just right front. Easy. She's a youngster, so just go slow. Watch your hand. I'm going to collimate this down good. You'll give me just a second here. All right, bring the marker on in a little. Perfect. All right, then we're going to go around the bleak it a little there, Miss Taylor. And uh, can you lead her forward just a step? Perfect, perfect. All right. Put it to the outside, Taylor. There you go. In a little where I can get it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. I want to shoot some x-rays here just to show you what's actually underneath and what we're feeling because me feeling you trying to watch on a video sometimes you don't get the full effect. Alrighty, so here is this right front leg. Here's the marker I used to point to the outside of the leg. So here's the inside of the leg. There's the blemish there. There's the splint bone. See, it looks good. That's a blood vessel for Raymond there. This is the cannon bone coming here. There's the other splint bone. So you got a lateral splint bone and a medial splint bone. And then we got this blemish here on the cannon bone. Another view of it. See the cannon bone is just enlarged there. You can see the same thing, just some <clears throat> enlargement of the bone. But see the splint bone actually is good. We get a lot of horses in here from a lot of different breeds, a lot of different occupations, careers, ages, and that's a blemish. That horse is not lame, he's not sore, 
by no stretch of the imagination is anything in the Horse Protection Act written about that. You know, nobody wants to see a horse that's not sound compete regardless of what he does, whether it's a walking horse or a thoroughbred or a cutting horse or whatever. This horse is totally sound. This is an injury that occurred probably several months ago. It's just like you hit your bone. The bone thinks it's irritated. It gets inflamed. It starts laying down new bone and you've got a little bony callus there. It'll always be there. It'll never cause any problems. No lameness, no soreness. There again, nothing by the wildest stretch of anybody's imagination would it come under the Horse Protection Act.